So it's Tuesday here. I'm not singing. What's up with that? Maybe I should do a vlog. I think I'm gonna do a vlog on Tuesdays, like a recap of my weekend. And I had a pretty exciting weekend. Uh, let's start with Saturday. Uh, Saturday was good. I don't have, I don't remember what exactly I did Saturday. What did I do Saturday? I don't, Saturday night I decided that uh, on Sunday I would have no internet, like no connection. I would just, so I did that, exactly that. Sunday, uh, I was, didn't, wasn't on the internet at all. I did so much um, on Sunday. I uh, learned a few things about myself. I learned that um, the sun exists. It's actually out there. It's not just uh, people shining lights into your house. I started exercising. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like the cliche, like the weird thing you hear like people, oh, I got off the internet, I started exercising, I got a job, you know, but no, really, I started exercising. Really, I learned that I'm allergic to grass. I've never been allergic to grass and like I was pulling weeds for my grandma in her flower bed and was just playing around the yard and with my dog and stuff and all of a sudden my both of my arms my legs and like my chest broke out in this ridiculous rash and I went to my grandma I was like Ugh, help me I'm dying she's like it's because you've been playing in the grass you're allergic to grass I'm like no, I'm not. I'm not allergic to grass. I've never been allergic to grass in my entire life. And now, as soon as I hit 20, I'm allergic to grass. It's dumb. It's amazing because now I can get away with not doing yard work. Hello, allergic to grass. Why would I want that terrible rash again? And I took Benadryl and it knocked me out. Like, I have never slept so good in my life. That was great. I disconnected from the internet and then I was like, oh yeah, Monday's gonna come and I get to get back on the internet because I told, made myself wait until Monday morning. Well, Monday morning comes and I decide that I'm just gonna drink, just drink water, drink more water. So I had a cup of water and my phone was thirsty. I took a swim. Um, so therefore that would be, that makes two days without internet. Uh, first day was my, totally my choice. Second day, not at all. Uh, so um, another story that happened on Monday is I was watching uh, my Law and Order marathon and my grandma, I hear my grandma hollering and I'm, she's outside. So I'm like, okay, something is silly. She got her hub around stuck and needs me to get out of the grass or something. And I was like, okay, so let's just go see what she wants. Well, she's hollering and I'm standing right behind her. Bro, bro. She's hollering at the door. So I said, grandma, I'm right here. So she turns around and she starts whispering. She says, I think that Link killed the neighbor's bird. <laughs> So I'm like, okay. So my dog has been, no, my dog has killed chickens before. Uh, like four or five chickens. Um, so she's like whispering to me in the yard. They're not outside. They're, they're older. Like, you know, they're older, older couple. So like I'm thinking, oh crap. This is an expensive bird. I'm gonna have to buy these people a new bird. I can't afford a bird. So I'm like, oh man, oh man. So I lock my dog up and she's still whispering to me about this bird. So I walk over there and I need like these talons on oh, so this bird. I'm like, oh crap. And it's like, a, it looked like a pretty bird from the back and it was wet. So obviously it was in Link's mouth. And I walk, get closer and I walk around and I say, grandma, this is not a bird. It's a possum. <laughs> so, like, she's like, well, we have to do something with it. She's like, are you sure? I was like, yes, it's a possum. So, like, and then the whole thing comes into my mind. I'm like, okay, it's a possum. Possums play possum. That's where they got it from. Is this thing really dead? So I get closer to it. And I'm like, oh, well, it's got flies on it. So it must be dead. And so I'm thinking Link got a hold to it, something happened, um, I didn't want the possum anywhere near the house anyways, I don't know how it got in the fence. So, we, so grandma, so if you know anything about me, uh, you know that I can't handle dead anything. I don't think most people can, but like, I get really sick, and I like want to puke everywhere, so I'm like, almost puking all over the concrete. My grandma's telling me to run to the grass and she's like, go get a, a, a bag from inside so we can put him in. I'm like, oh man, I have to touch this dead thing, this possum, this like disease ridden nastiness. So I go and find a shovel and grandma holds the bag 
and I scoop the possum into the bag. So then, what do you do with the possum? She said, well, just tie the bag up and put it in the garbage bin. It's like, Grandma, I can't tie this bag up. It's like, this possum stinks. Like, the second that I moved, started moving it, it was like, hello, disgusting. Like, rotting, been cooking all day in the sun. Um, so we put it in the garbage can. And all I could think about now is, um, my cousin's coming over tomorrow to take the, and he's like, he comes every Tuesday. And he's gonna come hang out, and he's gonna take the garbage can to the road. <laughs> and he's gonna see the possum in the garbage can. We're not gonna tell him about it. Uh, we're just gonna let it happen. <laughs> that was my weekend. But my phone's fine, if if you care about that. Uh, my phone's fine, I watched some friends, and uh, now it's uh, three o'clock in the morning and I'm making a video for you guys. Uh, I hope that you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up because that's cool and fun. Oh cool, hey Glock. Just let me know that it's uh, that if, like 15 minutes have passed. Cool. Cool. Bye guys.